In this video, I dive into the art of special effects makeup. I have always wanted to become a villain, so this is going to be huge fun, not the least because I will be redesigning some of my favorite villains. Anyone who's been around on this channel for any length of time knows I'm a little bit obsessed with the Joker. I know how I got these scars. Why so serious? Comes at me with a knife. I want to one day do things like create prosthetic effects and ultimately like awesome cosplay ideas like demonic personas and stuff. But we have to start at the beginning, which is why in this video I'm going to become the Joker and learn how some of those makeup effects are done and do them to people. And helping me out today is the expert talent, Melissa Jane Artistry over on Instagram and a local awesome makeup artist who's gonna be showing me all these cool tips and tricks and letting me use her stuff. So Mel and I talked away on a dabble together. I was working with the concepts and watching what she was doing with some of these special effects tricks to sort of know how far I could take things. So we were mucking around with the concept of what we could do with a Joker smile with this. And I do love the Heath Ledger, sort of the Glasgow smile intensity, but also just, I like the visual of his like stapled on a smile, but everything else on his face indicates like all these horrible emotions and he's forcing it behind this creepy smile. Trying to mix in these elements of like very raw, brutal emotions forced behind some laughter. The plan is going to be, we're going to do three jobs. The first one, I'm learning from you as you're doing it to me. Then I'm going to do it to you, but you'll also be able to help because you're used to doing your own makeup. Yeah. So I'll create a design that can sort of work with some sort of villainous cool vibe. And then three, we're going to do it to Murray, who's behind the camera today. <laughs> <laughs> it's at this point that he realizes that this is the last time you'll see me normal in this video. I'm gonna start looking weird for you. So I'm getting started onto the first piece of special effects. The rigid collodium, I believe it's called. Collodion, yep. Collodion, rigid Nickelodeon. And how does it work? Basically takes anything from your skin, oils, all that sort of stuff, and it actually tightens your skin. Oh my god. We haven't even <laughs> done anything yet and it's it's uh, already tightening my tightening my mouth. This is just the beginning, I'm so excited. <sighs> so next up in thickening the scars, Mel applied a compound called third degree, a silicon mix to thicken up the scars. After that, uh, what I've done is we've popped a couple of layers of latex just around the edging just to avoid any lifting because it's such a highly mobile area. Oh my God, this is starting to look really gnarly. Like when I zoom in here and look at that, it's pretty brutal. This is getting darker and darker. Uh, more viewer discretion warnings. <laughs> <laughs> so next is actually painting. Yes, that, right? so yep, base is done. So from here on, it's now painting, shading, and bringing it to life. Let's do it. <laughs> This to me is like fresh Joker. So you know like the Heath Ledger Joker? Yep. And he's got all these old scars. This is like the week of. Just, yeah. The week it it's just He's just done it. Ka-ching, ka It's all fresh. He hasn't even grown his hair out yet. So <laughs> I should dye my hair. We've got some spray, you've got some makeup. Yep. We'll do that to bring it all together. And then that's the Joker look done. And then I get to do your makeup. It's another canvas. When I smile, I feel like it squishes my face and shortens it all. It makes it less scary. But when I... Yeah, you get serious. When I don't smile, I... Ready? <laughs> So, uh, so that's Joker done. We're going to move on to Poison Ivy next. But before we do, I mean, we've been at this for a while. It's time to take a lunch break. I've got a few things in the office I need to check on, uh, and then it's straight back to work. Oh, that's terrible. Did I hear thunder before? 
How's it going? Good. Yeah. Cool. Oh, we, got we, a little, little someone new. You just had lunch? Yeah, just yeah, up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> tell me if we uh, tell me if we how how we went getting this. How do we go? So next up, let's cut back to the sketch that I did of Poison Ivy, which I'm gonna be doing on Mel to sort of learn the ropes of some of the stuff and try and do some of the stuff I saw and felt her do on me. But I wanna mess Mel up a little bit more than that and use some of these special effects. Specifically this 3D effect that she sort of used on my mouth. I wanna use that effect on the outside of her face and jaw leading towards the center to create this sort of tenderly poison tentacle vibe. But blended throughout the face also a mix of sort of yellow for a jaundicey vibe and purples for a almost like a deadly vibe. There's something deathly about purple. Oh, fancy seeing you here. Well, now that we're back and you're in my seat, I'm gonna take over and put a smile on your face. <laughs> This is uh, a little bit different being in this seat. So this is what I'm aiming for, following what you've done to me as sort of like a guide. So let's go through materials first and I'll basically just follow it as like the steps to follow. It helps that she's done her own eyes because I just, no matter, <laughs> no matter what <laughs> I would have tried, I wouldn't be able to do that. It comes with experience. That's but <laughs> I'm gonna focus on the special effects. So first up, witch hazel my skin. Like yep. just, that's always the best thing to do. I've taken off all my makeup. Couple yep. of pumps on there. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not listening because I'm gonna do whatever I feel like because I'm an agent of chaos. I'm the Joker. <laughs> this is fun. Wait, maybe I should pay attention. Tell it how to do that. All right. <laughs> How do you feel being in my inexperienced I'm freaking excited. Like, I'm so excited. It's my first time ever using any sort of makeup special effects stuff and already it feels like sculpting. This is really fun. Like, I was struck by how quickly I got lost in the process. I thought earlier on I'd feel weirder being up in someone's grill as much as you sort of need to be, but I very quickly just got focused on what I was putting down, how to smooth it and shape it, and totally forgot about how uncomfortable I might have made Mel feel. <laughs> Especially the fact that she was looking at this. I've done the first step. So these are my tendrils. I'm really liking the look of it. Like I can see where it's gonna end up. Now it's time to start working with color. So powder first, so we're not, so it actually sticks on top. And then we start blending colors and slapping them on your face. All right. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Like, look, I haven't done a huge amount or as much sort of detail or specificity as you have, but even just that vibe is pretty fun. Definitely poisonous. Lips. Yeah. I think that's our last, is that our last thing? Yeah. Oof, okay. All right. Oh, I don't know if I went too far. Don't laugh. <clears throat> Let me know, how did I do? Did I, did I do it? Did I get it? Are so that's good? two out of three. Now you will have noticed with the illustration I did of my Too Faced concept, I heavily lent on this burn effect. There are loads of ways Too Faced is done. I think we're gonna be on the grittier side, but otherwise just generally going for a pretty harsh charred look and using a contact lens to white out the color and the black of the eye to make it all look unfunctional. And this is the most special effecty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Murray, who is holding the camera, needs to swap with me. And I'm gonna take this. And you, mister, you ready? I'm so ready. In order to do Two-Face, we need to be able to put latex on half of your face 
and all this hair gotta go. So Murray, can you please half shave <laughs> your face? All right. This uh, is also a time challenge because to be able to have all three of our vill villains, we need to have them done today, which means we have just over an hour to put all of our skills to the test and do the most special effects ever on you. We can do it. I reckon we got this. We With our this. powers combined, go team villain. Go team. Ah. I just wanted to take this moment to ask you, to smash that like button and subscribe uh, and maybe leave a, a comment complimenting the dedication of our team and of Murray in particular because he is committing! All right, in order to nail this, we need a game plan. We're gonna do a different technique we haven't done before. You showed me yesterday in the plan. I did. And that is this latex burn effect. All like villains are super like, you know, theatrical. Yeah. They probably have makeup parties where they do each other's 100%. makeup. They're just sitting there, venging Batman the is world. Batman really be scared of us now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you reckon, buddy? Don't you reckon? Yeah. Chaos like this wouldn't be possible without the help of our patrons. Thank you so much, patrons, for helping support the channel. If you want to support the channel and check out the awesome behind the scenes, such as yesterday when Mel and I spent a whole day working on dabbling with the different materials and learning about it all, go check out Patreon. There's a whole bunch of behind the scenes content, private live streams, private Discord community, just a whole bunch of awesome stuff and awesome people who are a huge support to the channel. We've got a few things going on here. I tried to aim to bring out the cheekbone and like lots of lines under there, which I think is working. We've got the teeth on the outside here. And now we're sort of just waiting for the latex and the silicon to start setting. And then we can jump into color. It's definitely starting to set. Um, I can really only move half my face. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> We are in the home stretch. The latex and the silicone on the face is dry enough for us to start adding colour and we have 20 minutes to do all of the colour but fortunately we kind of picked the best character to slam it on with because mess and contrast will just create the most intense burn look. We'd also stuck resin teeth to the outside of one side of his mouth with latex so we could really create this charred look that looks like it's going right down to the bone. And every time we step back and look at it, it is very effective. The chaos of it really intensifies the gritty vibe. It's finishing touches now, so just a little bit of white on the hair, and I think we're done, which means it leaves us one more thing to do. We can either go like, you know, super cartoony, <laughs> but I feel like all of us have a lot more grit than that, so uh, I think this is our version of the gritty reboot. May not be canon, but I think my Joker, bit, bit of a punk, leather jacket vibes. What do you reckon? I think our two-face, I think we're gonna have to have a black jacket and a white jacket, and we can sort of have one side each, button it up in the middle, and our poison ivy. We've got that That's, one, yes. And I've got. And you've got green. Green. Perfect. This is like the ultimate gritty reboot. Let us know if this is the DC reboot you wanna see. That is it. That's, we're done. And I have to say, <laughs> that was, the fact that we knocked that out in an hour is, pretty outrageous. is really cool. I'm so glad we chucked on that white <laughs> contact for reveals too. It looked amazing. This was so much fun. Mel can't even join us for the outro. She had to run and grab her kids. It was an absolute race over the finish line, but we made it. I mean, look at that. Woo. Look at this.
It was so much fun and there is just so much thanks to be given to Mel. She's a local makeup artist and I just found her through word of mouth. She's super passionate and really talented. I really would encourage you to go check her out. Her Instagram is Melissa Jane Artistry. It's linked in the description. If you're in the Gippsland, Bobo Shire area and you want some pretty makeup or even prettier makeup, go check it out. And of course, if you're looking for costumes, Mad Hatter's Emporium, she's got you covered. Go say a few nice words to her Instagram page and give her a follow. I know it would mean a lot to her. And if you are local, go consider supporting locals. Otherwise, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I think we should do this in character. Um, <laughs> what does, hang on, what does this side say? You either live long enough to see someone hit the subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> and what's this one say? Subscribe now! Do it! I don't know how to one-up that. He's really got style. I might just give you a kiss instead.